Think about it. By, by our very nature, we are resistant to humbling ourselves, aren't we? I mean, by our, by our very nature, we resist humbling ourselves. We refuse to see our need for God. Like the prophet Jonah in the Old Testament, we actively, apart from Christ, we, we, we run in the opposite direction. Our, our culture has so blatantly violated God's moral law, his moral code, that our culture's resorted to inventing its own moral code. And you can watch this, and you can watch how it changes over the decades and over time. We've set aside the Ten Commandments that God has given us. Those are, those are lost virtues in our culture. So, so who cares what you do in your bedroom? Or who cares what you do at the pride parade? Or who cares how honest you are in business? But if you drive a Prius, if you adopt pets from the local animal shelter, if you buy local and you eat free-range chicken, this is the new moral code. Now listen to me. None of those things are wrong. Don't, I'm not condemning any of that, but notice with me. You notice there's an increasing number of people who are militant in these things. This is their religion. And the reason for that is we have so badly fallen short of God's moral law, all along, all throughout history, we've invented our own moral law. And that's the new moral code. None of those things are bad. And if you find a, a diet that helps you, that gives you health, go for it, pursue it. But notice there's an increasing number of people and there's a prevailing thought, this is a religion. It's a new legalism. Why? Because I can do those things. I can check those things off my list. And so there's pressure to conform and there's pressure to be part of the latest fad, right? Whatever it is, okay? Incidentally, on the, on the vegetarian side of things, I, I, I want to say, like, if you love animals, why would you eat their food? Like, oh, that's not very nice. In fact, I, I per personally, I choose to eat animals. That way there's enough food to go around for everyone. That, like, that's kind of like my approach to everything. Amen. That's right. There is this relentless pressure. What was that? I didn't hear that one. <laughs> there is this relentless pressure, though, right? You know it. You can feel it. There's this relentless pressure to measure up, and the internet makes it worse. And if you're doing this certain things for your children, for your family, you're taking part in this, you're not taking part of this, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. Relentless pressure to measure up. But think about what God requires. Humble yourself. That's what God requires. Humble yourself. No more running from, no more measuring up. Humble yourself. Lay down your pride at the cross. And why not? Because God opposes the proud. 